Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bull Talk by Joe. Just got back from uh, jujitsu. Just a little bit of training this this morning. It was a little bit rough, and uh, I didn't do so good. You know, just kind of wasn't feeling myself today. wasn't as strong today, and um, you know, it was still a good workout. I enjoy going down there and uh, and and training. It's uh, it's good exercise, and that's basically. That's basically all I want is that that exercise and and uh, helping helping my training partner uh, get better, right? That's what it's that's what it's about. But uh, I wanted to make this podcast about all the people, all the some of the people that I know that have gotten into losing weight and and tr- and training and and being healthy is what I want to talk about. It's uh, it's amazing how people want to be healthy, how they they don't want to be overweight, they don't want to be unhealthy. And they uh it I know it's hard work, hard work to just work out and to get up and go to the gym or go running or go walking, eat healthy. I mean who wants to eat healthy, right? I mean I who who doesn't want to eat chips and pizza and hamburgers? I mean everything's delicious, right? All the greasy stuff is delicious. You know, I don't uh I don't, uh, I don't blame people. You know, I, I like that stuff too. I like the greasy stuff and, you know, it's just, I try not to eat it that often, but I do, I do eat it also, you know, once in a while, I really enjoy having a nice hamburger, a delicious pizza and some wings, but, uh, you know, it's hard. It's hard just to work out. It's hard to, to get that motivation to do it, you know, and I'm really, I'm really glad that a lot of the people that I know that are, are, are starting to take steps to be healthy, to work out, uh, to get that motivation. That's why I like doing these kinds of podcasts, these kinds of uh, topics, because it's a big, it's a big issue right now. It's a big thing right now in this country, right? We're, we're like, we're like the fattest, we're like the heaviest in, in the world, I think, you know, it's just, and we're so unhealthy. Every corner, there's fast food, every commercial, there's fast food everything you know on the on the tv looks so delicious and it just kind of i mean i've done it before we're watching tv and we're like oh man look at that pizza let's order one or you talk to somebody from work and they're like man i feel like some pizza and wings today for the game and you're like oh man i'm gonna order some pizza and wings when i get home so i mean it's everywhere right and it takes a lot it takes a lot from you to not want to eat like that every day and it's easy right it's easy to just pick up the phone and order a pizza it's easy to just on the way home go to the go to any fast food joint and order a hamburger and fries it's easy to go have a some ice cream you know it's that's easy that's why it's called fast food and it's just it makes it hard because it's so easy right you don't have to you don't have to make it you don't have to cook anything you don't have to get any dishes dirty none of that Everything is right there, right? You go in and you order a meal, number five, and you get a hamburger, fries, and a soda, and you go home, you eat, and easy, right? And you think about it, and you're like, oh, well, I didn't have to spend that much money instead of going through the whole hassle of cleaning and uh, getting the house, you know, get clean, washing dishes, and it's just easy to just eat it, throw it in the bag, throw it in the trash can, and you're done, and you had your meal of the day. However, you know, that meal is not it's not healthy. It's not as healthy as you, as you cooking something at home. And uh, when I mean cooking, not cooking the same stuff, right? Just cooking a little bit healthier. And uh, like I said, it takes a lot from, from, from you. It takes a lot from, from us to not want to fall into that trap of eating unhealthy. However, like I said before, once you commit and you, you you like you know what I'm gonna start doing this just maybe dropping some, dropping the soda maybe dropping sweets maybe not having a dessert after you eat you know everything goes a long ways it's just about taking baby steps it's really hard to just drop everything and uh, and not you know what I mean and not um, and just go cold turkey you know it's 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 hard because you're not used to it you get in a bad mood. And you get, you know, hangry. And I mean, it's just, it it takes an effect on your body also, right? Your stomach and I mean, everything. So once you take baby steps to 
you know, to cut off some of the stuff that's bad for you. And then you start slowly walking or, you know, doing a little light jogging or some kind of activity, cutting the grass or pulling your weeds out, you know, in your front yard, whatever it is, raking your backyard, going swimming, you know, it takes, it just takes a little bit to be a little bit more active. And uh, I think you can, I think we can get somewhere, right? Just, it's just that, that first step, that first step could be anything. That first step could be, like I said, dropping the sweets. That first step could be lacing up your shoes and going for a walk. That first step could be going to the store and getting yourself some exercise attire so you can get some, some motivation. And also, you know, one of the biggest problems is when you are, when you're not confident and you're trying to work out and you're trying to do things and you feel like people might judge you, you feel that, you know, people are constantly, constantly looking at you. Oh, look at that dude. Look at that shirt. Looks, looks way too small for him or look at him. He's trying to run. He's so fat, you know, and, and, and yeah, you know, there is people like that, that, that want to, you know, that want to make, you know, make fun of you or whatever. Usually a lot of people don't tell you to your face. They'll just, uh, you know, they'll talk amongst each other, but you know, that's something that that's why you have to be mentally strong. You know, you have to just work out. You have to do whatever you can for yourself and not worry about anybody else around you. Not worry about who, who's talking about you or, Oh, that guy over there is looking at me funny, you know, just ignore everybody and you do your own thing. You know, there's some people that are just gifted. You know, there's some people that are just born with good genes. You know, they have, they have nice bodies. They, they lose fat really fast. They get in shape really fast, but not everybody has, has that. So you just have to work just a little bit harder. It doesn't mean that if the person next to you was born that way, slender, looks fit, that doesn't mean that you can't get there, right? It doesn't mean that, that you can't be healthy. It doesn't mean that you can't gain any muscle. It doesn't mean any of that. That's why don't focus on anybody else. Don't focus on whoever's at the gym. Don't focus on people. Just focus on yourself. That is the most important thing is to focus on yourself. And I do that same thing too. You know, I I was at one point 255 pounds. And all I did was came home and, and just start drinking beer every day and smoke cigarettes. And, you know, it just, you get, you get really you get overweight fast, you know, you get overweight fast. And for me, uh, I was born with pretty good genes. Thanks to my parents. My father was an athlete. My mother has always been in shape and our whole family. So it doesn't, you know, overweight issues do not run in the family. So I'm, I'm lucky that, uh, that, uh, you know, that I don't have to, I don't have to go through all that, but I have had to, to lose weight because it was, it was getting out of hand. You know, I was 256 pounds or so and, um, six foot one, 256 pounds is pretty heavy. So I decided to hit the gym and start, you know, I, and I don't even eat, I don't even drink soda. I don't even like sweets or desserts or anything like that. I was just drinking a lot, a lot of beer and, uh, I had a cut, I had to cut the beer and I, from a six pack every day, to one beer a day, to one beer every other day. And I started making changes for, for myself because I, I realized one day I was going to work and I was tying my shoelaces and I was having a hard time. And I never had to, I never had to go through that. And one day I was tying my shoelaces and I'm like, man, why am I out of breath? Like what, what's happening? And I looked down and my stomach sticking out and I'm I'm like, oh my goodness. Like that's when I realized that I didn't want to I didn't want to look like that. I didn't want to lose my breath going upstairs. I didn't want to lose my breath tying my shoelaces. You know, it was uh it was not a good thing. So I stopped smoking. I um I didn't this instance, I didn't just uh smoke one cigarette a day. I just stopped. I just stopped smoking. And I was, it was, uh, it wasn't as hard. I'm not a, I'm not a person that gets addicted to stuff. So it's easier for me to just drop things. And, uh, instead of, like I said, instead of drinking the six beers, I had, you know, I limit myself to get one beer and I wouldn't buy 12 packs anymore, 12 packs of beer, because if there's beer in the fridge, 
I would just drink it and I'll just keep drinking it until I was like, okay, I'm full. And instead of doing that, I started just buying a 24 ounce and just, that's it. But once it was over, I was like, I'm, I can't drive. I can't, uh, I can't go anywhere now. So now I just got to suck it up, drink, drink some water or coffee, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't go to the store anymore and get any more beer. That was, uh, that's how I started to do some changes. So, you know, just because I was, I was blessed that, uh, I don't get overweight easy. It doesn't mean that I didn't have to do any changes in my life. I, I had to do a lot of changes just to get down to, I'm, I'm at 195 now, 200 pounds. And that's where I want it to be. That's where I think I look the best. And I don't want to get any smaller than that. So, you know, I watch what I eat. Before, when I started my journey on losing the weight, I didn't... Um, I had to cut a lot of the stuff off, like I said, like the beer and all that. But uh, I always grilled. You know, I always grilled my food. And uh, like I said, I started grilling more chicken and started being more active and dropping the alcohol. Not completely, but, you know, I love drinking beer. And uh, But the beer that I like to drink is the worst. You know, I like to drink IPAs and stouts. And it's just the heaviest beer with more carbs. And, I mean, it's just bad for you. So, like I said, I had to do a lot of changes. For instance, in the beer, uh, I started going to light beer. So I drink uh, summer IPA, which is very low on on alcohol content, and it's just a lighter beer. Or sometimes I'll get some Michelob Ultra and stuff like that. Something that you know I can just sit on the couch and sip on it and watch a game or hang out and have dinner, whatever. But I, there was a lot of things that I had to do, and it took a lot of effort because hey. I want to drink beer all day, right? I want to barbecue, drink beer, and smoke cigarettes while I, you know, while I'm there grilling. Of course, right? There people like doing the bad stuff. But uh, like I said, I don't miss smoking. I do smoke cigars, and I love smoking cigars. I don't uh, that too. I used to smoke a cigar almost every day, and things just started getting more expensive and expensive, and it's a, it's a bad habit, right? It's an expensive habit. And I cut down to once in a while, every, I have a cigar about once a month or on a, when, when there's a party or a gathering, I like to smoke a cigar when we're all outside hanging out, the weather's beautiful and having some beers and a cigar. And, uh, that's what I do now. So that just goes to show you guys that, uh, just because you're not, you know, I wasn't overweight and I'm like, oh my God, it doesn't mean that I didn't have to make changes. It didn't, it doesn't mean that I, that I didn't struggle. Of course I struggled. You know, was it easier for me to lose the weight? Of course, because like I said, we were, or, or it must've been in our genes or something. We just blessed that we can lose the weight fast and we can get in shape fast, you know, but I, I still had to do it myself, you know, and it's not like my body automatically one morning I woke up and I was buff, you know, or I was athletic looking or none of that. I had to, I had to go back to limiting myself to the stuff that I was doing on a daily basis. And uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully this episode kind of resonates with a lot of you guys. Um, it's just this episodes are, are, are really good because I've been there too. Yes. Like I said, my journey is maybe not the same journey as you. Maybe you like to eat out all the time and things like that. But it's the whole point of it is that we all have to make changes and that's and that is the first step is doing those changes for your health i mean i want to be healthy i want to be able to look like this when i'm 60 65 you know i want to be able to be in shape and not be so overweight that i can't even run and play with my kids or do anything or any activities just you know my grandkids are going to look at me and they're going to be like look at this guy i can't even move he's just in his wheelchair drinking beer yeah, i don't want that you know and that's the way i stay young I work out when I can. I go to jujitsu when I can. And it just makes me feel better. I wish I could go to jujitsu every day like I used to. I wish that I could work out every day like I used to. But, you know, there's more things. There's things that I have to focus on work, family, podcasting, and all that stuff, you know. And uh, I still, I'm still super active though during the day. I do the lawn. I, I'm constantly active. I'm a busy body. I wake up really early in the morning, start my day, have some coffee, start moving around. 
and uh, I do a lot of different activities and I just like to stay active. You know, I'm the type of person that cannot just sit in the couch forever and uh, and just chill. I have to be doing something. So that's what helps also is uh, maybe pick up an activity. Like I said, it, it's I try different things. I try many different things that I felt like, okay, maybe this is going to change me and this is going to give me a little bit more effort or I'm going to I'm going to put more effort into it. Or I'm going to join the gym or I'm going to do a cycling class. I'm going to get a bicycle. I'm going to I tried everything. I everything, whatever it took to so I can find what I really enjoyed so I can keep doing it. And, uh, you know, like I said, it takes effort and it's hard to not eat the the bad shit but you you can do it you know you can do it and uh just gotta just gotta keep going right you know just gotta keep doing it uh even though if you miss one day or you like you go two days eating your hamburgers and your fries or whatever you're eating pies whatever it is you know you can still you can still go okay you know what that's enough and pick it back up again right it's, it's not easy it's a it's a it's a big journey especially when it comes to being healthy, working out, staying in shape, you know, it takes, it takes a lot, but I believe in the long run, it's going to be good for you. You know, I, I am happy that I'm 40 years old and I look like this. I could be in way, like I could be way worse. You know, I could be almost 300 pounds by now drinking my beer, I don't, not giving a shit about anything, podcasting or nothing. Because you got to remember, when your self-esteem is low, you kind of don't give a shit. you kind of just like, hey, you know, what? I'm just going to play games all day or I'm just going to eat all day. I don't give a shit. And it affects you. It affects you. It's being healthy and being active kind of gets you going, right? Gets that motivation. Like, you can do this. You can, you can actually do this. You can actually lose 20, 30, 50 pounds, whatever it is. But it all... It, it's it takes you to uh to actually do that so hopefully you guys like this episode hopefully this was informative hopefully uh for the for all my supporters all my listeners uh hopefully if one of you guys is going through this journey uh you're not alone everybody goes through this no matter what kind of body body shape you have or what kind of genes you were born with everybody goes through the same thing and it's not just working out and also on how, how to be a, a better human, a better person, a better dad, a better friend. Everything takes hard work. It's not easy. So hopefully we'll learn something from this. Until next time, peace.